Get ready, because today we're plunging into a wild collection of Karen moments that will leave you shaking your heads with disbelief. Brace yourself for some serious entitlements and jaw-dropping behaviors. When a rude woman on a plane thought she could get away with bad behavior, the universe had other plans, delivering a swift and satisfying dose of instant karma that left everyone cheering. Two. No, absolutely Ooh. not. Do not count in my face. Do not touch me. Oh. Do not touch me. You're touching me. I am going to touch you. You are touching me. She's touching me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching me. When Karen tries to pull off an insurance scam, she gets caught red-handed in a hilariously bad, embarrassing fail, proving that some schemes just aren't as foolproof as they seem. Sorry, what? I'm just taking some pictures of this scratch. Okay, yeah, okay, but okay, but we've not scratched it. Look how close you are to my car. You must have scratched it. What do you mean look how close? Look, it's ridiculous. You're you're so okay, close. Okay, look, but look, we're, my car. look, look, I'm in the bay, yeah? You're not in your bay. I don't care. You have scratched my car. When I parked this car, there was no scratch on it. There's a scratch on it now. But I'm saying, I want your insurance details as well, please. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, yeah, I've taken a picture of your number plate. No, but like what I'm saying, yeah, if there's a scratch on your car, how come there's not a scratch on my car? And what you I'm must saying have, is, you must yeah, have damaged close, it more. Yeah? You must but have like, damaged it more. But like, sorry, but like we're did. in the bay. I'm in the bay. You're not in the bay. No, you're going to see the mark on this car. Exactly, no. exactly. My car's well, not big enough honestly, to when, like when I when I parked, there was no scratch on this car. I'm Jones still Jones. taking the pictures. I am taking the pictures. Take the pictures, but like I'm not giving you no details. Like, like, yeah, like, you, I've not hit your I car. I don't care. You don't need to give me details. I can get all your details from your insurance company. Yeah, yeah, yeah but look, there's, there's, there's no scratch on my car, though. Thank you. Like two wrongs don't make a right, but there's no way yeah. that that car is yeah. touched like a van. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like <laughs> we've never done. Don't know what it. Your car. I'm. I'm. I'm in, I do cars and body work yeah. every day. That's not fresh. No, if that was fresh, you'd see a little bit of paint peel. That's not fresh. That's been yeah, there for a while. Yeah, mm. yes, that's true. And then like you're over here trying to accuse us of doing it. You know. Well, you. You know. You know that's been there before, isn't it? Yeah. You. <laughs> you said yeah. You knew it was there before. Sweet Donna, the friendly Walmart greeter was just doing her job when a grumpy Karen decided to unleash her fury. But while Donna was simply trying to help, Karen turned a simple warning into a needless drama. What? Do you have a medical issue? Yes. What's your medical issue? It's none of your business. Well, I'm a nurse. I'm just wondering you're unbelievably rude. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm not 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 have you had a stroke? Because at least that little sounds. No, I'm being straight. Are they still down, Rachel? I want you to call a manager up here. Rachel, a woman wants to speak with a manager. Much nicer with Rachel. In this bizarre situation, some older guys are acting like classic Karens, but there's more to it. They're also showing signs of racism. It's confusing and concerning, leaving you wondering what really sent them off. Get out of here! 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 He touched me. Get out of my restaurant. No. He just touched me. Call 911. He touched me. He touched me in my face. Who fired him? He touched him. Who did he touch him? He touched him. I'm not even arrested. No, you get fired. I'm not even fired. Okay. You're not even fired. Okay. You're not even fired. What's your name? What's your name? No, no, no. Nobody touched me. Who did he touch him? Okay. Hold on. You put that down. Put that down. You don't matter anybody. Touch him. Move! Move! Let's go! 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 let us go in a twist of irony, the Karen wearing a mask decided to call out someone else without a mask, labeling them as the Karen. It's strange and a confusing role reversal that leaves everyone scratching their heads. So we get a lot of complaints if we have customers walking around without masks it's in the okay. store. This store could be shut down. The, the Walmart could be shut down and fine. Okay. Who are you? I, I, I'm, I've never met a Karen before, so I'm excited. I can't wait to put this on Twitter. <laughs> 
retired. Now you do have to wear a mask. <laughs> Too bad I don't have my. You need a picture of her. You put that on Twitter. Good one. <laughs> Showed me. Yeah, you got a mask on. Don't be worried about me. Hi, Karen. Bye, Karen. <laughs> Here's a lesson what not to do. If you're involved in illegal activities like using drugs or living somewhere you shouldn't be, calling the cops is probably the worst idea. What happened? So listen, they, they, all they, they're arguing. Yeah. Whoever the crackhead is, yeah. constantly yeah. banging, throwing If you go up there right now, you see every, all the evidence is literally in the kitchen. Come outside and talk to us. Oh yeah, I'm busy right now. Come outside and talk to us. Well, I'm telling you what to do. Okay, well, then come here. Come here. No, come here. You're going to jail. Turn, put your hands behind your back. Come here. Get off me. I'm not going to jail, bro. I didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. Why are you taking me to jail? I'll sit on my back. I'll talk to you. I'm not going out. Don't. 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 I saw this on Facebook and couldn't keep it to myself, Twitter. Do your thing. Help track down this racist. Let's show her that hate has no place here. Are you the manager? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, but you did say that she needs to go back to her country. What, what kind of, what kind of, what is that? Excuse me, this is what this whole world... White people are not from this country. Don't serve her. Yeah, you do not serve her. Don't serve her racist ass. You don't tell... No, 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 no. Continue serving, continue serving. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. No. No, you do not come in here and use the F word and swear and call me a B-I-T. I've never even said that I said she is, and you're not a part of that. So you get out of here. I know. I said she is, and that's why she's leaving. So you will leave, too. This is going all on the internet. You don't know who I am. You told her to, you told her to go back to her country where she's from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where were you born? I was born in America. Where are your ancestors from? They're not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. You better go back you to where you're from. You just, you just no, you just walked into her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, Ladies. you deserved it. Oh my god. In my opinion. Again, yeah, you you pushed her and she smacked you. That was uh, self defense on her part. No, she grabbed me. Nope. Please, please, please. Things don't get serious until a car pulls up and agrees to cooperate, sparking an investigation. Until that moment, the person involved knows their rights and stands firm, holding off any action. It's a tense yet satisfying watch as the situation unfolds, showing how knowing the rules can make all the difference. And these two people are the two individuals that entrapped me right here, and they're trying to do it right now. They're trying to get every other Uber driver. The woman said that she didn't have a phone, or no, she said that her phone was out of battery, and the guy said he had a flip phone, he said he had cash. They're trying to catch all kinds of people. Watch this. Hey, brother, yeah. those people are undercover cops. I just got a citation for this. Oh, really? Yeah, they trapped me. Oh. Yep. Good job, guys. I see y'all in court. Oh, I thought your phone was dead. Oh, your phone ain't dead no more, huh? Your phone ain't dead no more? Yeah, I didn't take nothing from you. I took nothing from you. I took nothing from neither one of you people, and you know I didn't. You know I didn't take nothing from you. Oh, I'm not harassing nothing. No, nope, I'm not harassing anything. Y'all didn't trap me. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Oh, now look at this. Look at this. What's up, man? How you doing? What you mean, how am I doing? I just got trapped, and I just wanted to stop somebody else from getting trapped. That's all. So how can I help you today? You know, by doing this, you're interfering with an investigation. No, I'm right? not interfering with no investigation. Yeah. So no, whenever a car pulls up... I'm so not interfering with anything. I was making a video and they just happened to have some people pull up. Okay, so you know you can be a... In this wild in-flight drama, Karen's behavior took a nosedive, leading the crew to take extreme measures, duct taping him right to his seat. It's a shocking turn of events that shows just how far things can go when passengers lose control, turning a regular flight into an unforgettable spectacle. Let's go. You guys suck. My parents are reporting... You know you got them down. And you know what? You. 
In a world where some people think they could do whatever they want without consequences, this video shows just how wrong they are. Their rude, disrespectful behavior finally catches up with them, proving that karma has a way of balancing things out. It's a satisfying watch, reminding us that actions do have repercussions, even for the most insufferable. Yet another Karen learns the hard way that the customer isn't always right. After speaking rudely to someone, she gets called out and put in her place, showing that businesses have every right to stand up to entitled behavior. It's a satisfying reminder that respect goes both ways, and being rude won't get you far. I just want a regular chicken sandwich. But I can't do half of it with You don't have to. So you just want a chicken sandwich? Yes. All right. Do you want the onions and peppers in it? Yes. It's so frustrating that you can't help but think a good slap or kick might just be what's needed to reset the whole situation. It's a humorous take on dealing with someone who just won't stop. Give her the ball! Now! Give her the ball! In this wild clip, she's the one chasing the camera and trying to assault the guy, but somehow people still blame him for harassing her. It's a classic case of double standards. While she's let off the hook, and he takes the heat, showing how accountability can get twisted when the tables are turned. <laughs> you know, I'm Karen threw a fit because there were dogs at a spot that's actually a dog park. 
Talk about missing the point. Despite her complaints, no children and no other animals were harmed, just her sense of entitlement. It's a classic Karen moment where she's upset over something that's perfectly normal. I'm gonna bring y'all dogs some cookies. That's killing dogs. You're literally on the field with your dogs off leash. Yeah, you, 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 you are the most, times. you are a clown. Okay. Clown, your mother raised a clown. Okay. You're a clown. I would just what? stop talking to her. She's obviously. An assertive woman who's going to stick up for her kids in the community. Crazy. You're just An assertive and woman and who's going to check up. Who it's comes done. to this park with their white privilege to try to flex on the community. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny. It's funny. All right. Well, we're gonna it's funny we're to you. you. It's all funny to we you. It's not funny when if the kids get does. injured. If it's not happens, funny when the kids hunt, get injured. Down, it's not funny when their field is ruined. It's not funny. It's if anything happens to these dogs, we will hunt you down. It's not funny. We will. This guy thinks it's funny. I think you're you think hilarious. Funny. You are hilarious. I know you think Parking lot Karen strikes again, turning a simple parking situation into a full-blown drama. Her over-the-top reaction to something trivial makes for an entertaining watch as she creates chaos where there should be none. It's another classic Karen moment, proving that no place is safe from her antics. See, that's a five hundred dollar mirror. Man. I didn't touch a friggin' mirror. Yes, you did. It no, was... I didn't. Man, I sat and watched you. I I would have. And you and you kept trying to push it past. No, I didn't. Man, I watched you. I went like this. Back up. Back up, please. I'm standing by my car. I'm going to back up. You, um, just, you just came up to me. I went like this. You just back came, up. You just walked up to me. I went up to here. Ma'am, you just took my mirror off with your cart. I was sitting in the driver's seat. Look at the cart. It's the same exact height. I watched you. And, and ma'am, you came up to me. I by your mirror. I did because you couldn't get by your mirror. Then you got stuck you on it. Over here? Because you got stuck on it, ma'am. I didn't get stuck. I didn't get stuck on it. I stopped right here. And if yeah. I did anything, And if you would grab the cart, it is the exact height of where you got stuck on my mirror, problem. man. It happened last week. It happened just now. No, I was I was sitting in my driver's seat, man. I Everyone's quick to label the principal as a Karen, but if you watch the whole video, you'll see she was polite at first, just asking the skaters to leave since it was school hours and they didn't belong there. It's actually the skaters who started causing trouble, turning a simple request into unnecessary drama. Get off the campus! Quit yelling at me! Get off the ah! Ah! It's hard to believe there are men who act like this, completely out of line and disrespectful. Just imagine the uproar if the roles were reversed and the man was treating a woman like this. The video really makes you think about the double standards and how behavior like this shouldn't be tolerated from anyone. I wish you would help me, Carlos. I wish you would help me. Stop making me look stupid. I wish you would help me. I wish. You look stupid and confused the entire time we're here. And it's cool. I'm a f***ing I've never had this done before. And you won't help me. Sorry, son of a Sorry, sorry, son of a so I'm American and I don't understand a single word that it says. Why? I do. I hate you for doing this to me. This is my first flight. It is your very this video features a Garen who took things too far by spinning on a pizza delivery driver. Her outrageous behavior is not just rude, but downright disgusting. It's a shocking reminder of how low some people can go, turning a simple delivery into a viral moment for all the wrong reasons. Any program that the city face, it is not illegal to yell here. Excuse me, ma'am. You are helped when you are visiting the city. Would you please ask your family?
In a parking garage showdown, Karen and her partner in crime decide to gang up on a man, turning an ordinary day into a chaotic scene. Their aggressive behavior left everyone shocked, showing just how far some people will go to stir up trouble where it's least expected. We just want to know what your job is and why. I'm in your business. Oh, the cops are. Yeah, the cops? Yeah, this is not your apartment. It's not my apartment. Yes. Cool. I don't need to tell them anything. Do you have an ID on you, maybe? I don't need to tell you what I'm doing because I'm not interacting with you. So okay. call whoever you want to call. This is a secure building. Huh? Yeah? It's a secure building. It's a secure building. Okay, so how do you think I got in here? We don't know. Did I follow you in here? You're attacking me. Seriously? Put that, get that phone out of your seat. No. No. Hey. 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 What the hell's wrong with you? Are you stupid? No. Try something. Stop Try it. something. Stop it. Try something. Get what the, the f out of my building. Try something. Get no. the out of my building. I'm telling you. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. I got on camera. You attacked me. Call the cops. I didn't attack the police. I didn't attack you. You didn't attack me? I got on camera. Call the police right now. Please. I want to press charges. Go ahead. I want to press charges on you. You attacked me. Go ahead. I didn't touch you. All right. I didn't. Karen takes nosiness to a whole new level, peeking over the fence to spy on her neighbors. Her invasive curiosity turns a simple backyard moment into an uncomfortable spectacle, proving that some people just can't mind their own business. Through the thing? What the f you're doing, yeah? You are artificial and disgusting. And you know what? Your kid is going to die. And I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to watch and smile as it happens. And watch. Yes. It's currently, five, it's currently 5 p.m. on a Saturday in April. Yeah. And this He's woman lives next to me in Riverview, woman. Florida. Yes. And she's going on a rant. Just she just punched mm -hmm. a hole through my fence. This is made of art. She's trying to put... Okay, so we're going inside right now. Whatever went down before the video started, she's now stuck with a mouthful of regret and a sandwich she can't stop smacking her lips over. It's clear no matter the situation, all she can focus on now is the taste of that bite, turning her frustration into a funny moment. But finish my sandwich. No, I don't finish because you, you need to respect me. Um, well, you need to respect your customers. And I will tell them you don't respect your customers. Would you finish my sandwich? A coca trio. A coca trio. Finish my sandwich. All right, you're going to be reported. That's for sure. Call your call your supervisor right now. Please call him right now. You wanted to call her a while ago. Call her now. I'd like to talk to her. In this ironic twist, she likely calls herself a conservative, but she's quick to shut down free speech when it doesn't suit her. Her actions contradict her own beliefs, making this video a glaring example of hypocrisy in action. Any profanity comes out of any of y'all's mouths. There is a rule that says no profanity. There's a city policeman sitting right over there. And I will take any one of y'all to him and y'all will go to juvenile court. Tape record, put it on YouTube, put it wherever you'd like. I am. Where, where's this coming from? He was cussing like a him? sailor and I asked him not to. And he refused. <laughs> so I called the city police that he should be ashamed of what he said. And he said his mother didn't care. Nor did his dad. <laughs> She's in for a rude awakening when she finally realizes that dentists are actually MDs too. Her misplaced arrogance is about to backfire, making this video a perfect example of how a little knowledge can save a lot of embarrassment. I'm going to work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting but, my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety from our, of all of our... Right, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our... You can't take my temperature. temperature. That's against the law. All right, well, I can't... You're not, not an you. MD. We're not okay. allowed to... We no, see you. I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the air manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? 
Let's get this done, okay? I, I can't, yeah. They're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. He has to send me in written writing, too. First I want to see your You shouldn't be in the building without a mask, either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's this not a law. Medical, it's not a in this clip, a strange argument unfolds, and while we don't know the full story, it's clear she's making a point about not teaching kids to focus on skin color. Even though the conversation seems silly and out of place, it sparks an interesting debate, leaving us wondering what led to this odd exchange in the first place. When my daughter reads that, she doesn't understand because she hasn't been, you know, um, kind of programmed to understand. So it feels to me that she's like, oh, black so I guess, historically, historically what? Historically. Um, blacks were excluded from beaches and, and were in fact... But, but we weren't there for that. We weren't there for that. My kids so didn't live that. So, and so, so let's let that be the past like and the let's, let's raise them up, you know, as everybody and not see color and not name color. Let's stop naming color because that's what you're doing. No, I don't want you to see because I'm done and I don't want to understand it because I see that you... In a baffling twist, she claims she wants the other woman to stay away, yet she's the one doing the chasing. It's a clear case of mixed signals where her actions totally contradict her words, turning a situation into a confusing and ironic spectacle. Crazy lady. Okay, she attacked me, and so I say I attacked her. You cut. Yeah, look at this. Get away from me! Oh, y'all better get this lady. Get her away oh. from me! Yes, can y'all get, get her away from me? Get her away from me! Oh, this person's crying at me. She's recording me. Uh, she has poor purple hair. She's lying on the phone. Don't tell me what to do. She said I threatened her. Well, I don't give a about her being sick. I'm worried about me. You hear this? Yo, y'all can't think y'all hear this? This stuff y'all read about, this is real. This is really happening to me. She's on the phone with the police on me, and she's chasing me around the damn store. My festive spirit was no match for Karen next door. She actually took down my Christmas lights, turning holiday cheer into a neighbor's showdown. Looks like someone's got a serious grudge against twinkling lights. God awful ugly Christmas lights down. It's Those the are, middle of that's February. That's my problem. Who cares? I Why do, do you care? I do. And the HOA do. No, do you they know don't. How many complaints I've had about your Christmas lights being up no, in the middle of February? I don't know. I bet yeah, you there are uh, zero. Well, of course you don't, because you don't pay attention. You so I'm taking them, and they're mine. Just so you know. I have you on camera Fine. stealing my Christmas lights. Have me on camera, and I'll show to you, and I'll prove to you that I am confiscating them in honor of the HOA agreement that you have violated by having them up past February. The only thing that you're proving is that I have you on camera stealing my stuff and, and trespassing the HOA on my property. Does that the give laws you the right that you agreed to when you moved into this? Does that property? give you the right to do anything because you're trespassing? Take a look at the no, HOA laws. No, if you're yeah. HOA, okay. you don't even know what you're talking about. If you're president of the HOA, handle. that doesn't Read mean you can handle. just come. Yes, and just come I on to anybody. You were in violation. So when you're, you have ignored the emails that we have sent you, and the complaints, and the voicemails. Yeah. So I'm just to be clear, can I can I just be clear here for a second? Because you are being negligent I, and not following the orders. Can I just orders. be clear for no, a second? No, you cannot be clear. I've made myself extremely clear. You, I don't know who you think you are. I'm just a regular person that you're just coming out of my lawn and stealing too stuff bad. from. I am the HOA president. That's who I am, and I are have you? every right to do this. What, yes. I didn't know that because you haven't mentioned that like thirty-five times. Do you ever attend any of the meetings? Do you even have? You have mentioned you have no, mentioned it like 85 times. Right, and you still don't know who I am, and you're still challenging my authority. So why okay. don't you go back in your place and take a look at the handbook and see right, what you're This is violating. what's going to happen. Why don't you give me the lights back, and then I'm called violating. You are violating them, and I'm confiscating. Give me my lights exactly back, seriously. Nope, nope, yes. Give me my lights back. Nope, give me them nope. back. Stop it. Stop it. Give me the lights nope. back. Let them go. Nope. Seriously. At Chick-fil-A, Karen expected royal treatment and threw a fit when the employees didn't rush to clean her car before saying, my pleasure. But karma struck fast, reminding her that even in the friendliest place, matters still matter. Get your car! Get your car! You this is why we're concerned, ma'am! Wow. I think we're the police. Oh, God. Please tell her to stop! Oh, my God! Oh, tell her to get, get away from the car! Y'all come back. She's called somebody. Karen lost it when a delivery guy honked to announce his arrival, unleashing her fury over a simple sound. But Karma was quick to answer back, showing her that overacting never ends well. 
buzinou e não pode buzinar, viu? Muito obrigada, nada. Você é errado, o senhor está muito estressado. Não pode ser assim, não. Não sentar a sua cara e não tá falando com sua esposa, não. Falar com o gerente lá. Eu conheço, eu, eu conheço o gerente de lá, tá? Eu conheço o gerente de lá. Eu conheço o gerente de lá. Vou? Pronto, tá gravando aqui. Uma hora depois... These Karens took their wild antics a bit too far, and karma didn't miss a beat. Each one got exactly what they deserved, proving that when you go too wild, the universe has a way of putting you back in your place. When y'all got out of the car the other day, and my old man was right here, why would y'all be in rude? Because that right there made him cry all my night. Rude about what? Laughing at him. About what? I don't know. Y'all were sitting, your old lady was sitting right here staring at him, and so were y'all's friends, and y'all were cracking up. When you came out, you were oh, oh, no. We just got I don't answer no question. stupid question. That's not stupid. I'm just asking. I, I promise you that every day I come out here from now on, I'm going to make fun of you every time I walk out the door. I want you to yeah. put me out. I want you to do it. Get the hell out of this no, yard. You put me out. Get the f out. I'm telling you, get the f out of the f yard. Get the f out of here. Put your hands on me. Come on. Talk. No, don't. Are you Baby, stop. Karen decided to ruin our new homie, but her meddling ways landed her straight into the hands of the cops. She got exactly what was coming to her, learning the hard way that some things are better left alone. She crashed into a truck and she just tried to flee the scene and crashed into my wife and kids. Don't treat it like no, don't treat it, don't treat it comfortably. Treat it like you'll do anybody now. Treat it like you'll do anybody now. Treat it like you'll treat anybody. There we go. There we go. Just treat it like you'll treat anybody. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Calm down, babe. That's all I ask. I don't know what you under the influence of. Crazy, man. Don't hate. Don't hate. Yeah, Rousey. Rousey. Hey, punch in that shit. Rousey. There we go. Rousey. You gonna Rousey some more? Rousey some more. Rousey some more. These Karens thought they were in the right, but karma quickly showed them otherwise. With every outburst caught on camera, they each faced the reality of being wrong, delivering the perfect dose of well-deserved karma. That, that is assault. It says 12.31 and it's on, and you can stop videotaping me. What's your problem? What's your problem? I had a coupon that I got out of the machine today and he won't let me use is it. it is this worth a coupon? Pictures. Is I'll, it worth you videotaping me? How much are the pictures? I could solve all this. I can this. buy the pictures myself. I can buy and sell me the pictures. This is just embarrassing. I've never yeah, seen it. It's embarrassing that you have to, and I want my camera back. Okay, well, I guess the cops are going to have to get it. I will stay and talk to the cops. I would like my camera back. Ever since what's her name left here, this place went to sh I would like my camera back. I don't have a camera. Well, the camera was here, and now it's not. There is no camera. All that was here was this that you threw The in. camera didn't yes. just disappear. And the stuff. With the, the pictures in it. No, there were two items. There, were, there, there was, was a camera. The camera's no longer here. Is that it right there by the photo machine? Oh, look, look who's wrong. <laughs> Excuse me? I said, look who's wrong. What is your problem? I was you just in the back. You are videotaping I'm protecting me. this gentleman. Oh, the really? Cop? Absolutely. You're protecting the gentleman who refuses to sell me what I wanted to buy. You threw stuff at me. And you out. took the stuff away and said I couldn't buy it. Bye. I need for somebody to call the police and I'll talk to them. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. She tried to throw insults but was left speechless when you mentioned her mother. Her shock quickly turned into realization that she got exactly what she deserved, proving that sometimes words can backfire big time. You're going to be in real trouble. You're sitting in the car. I need to park here. No, I'm parking here. I live here. Well, get out. You no, don't have a car pass. I do, and it's not your business. I live here. You're here a lot, and I see you. You don't live here. And even so, I need to park here. That's not how it works. You are a disgusting piece of crap. Your mother.
This guy believes protests are only valid if they match his views, dismissing any cause he doesn't agree with. It's a narrow-minded take that exposes his selective support for free speech, making this a frustrating yet revealing moment in the video. Hey! What's your name? What's your name? Where did you come from? Get a job. Where did you come from? Paris. You. Yeah? Yeah? What are you gonna do? You gonna hit me? Yeah? You gonna hit me? You gonna hit one of us? Big man. Yeah. Brave. Real brave. You're a coward. We're allowed to protest here. Get the away from us. What's your name, Al? What's your f problem is she disrespected here. and disgraced where did you even come the American from? flag, but which is where? against the oh, law. Wait a minute, it's dude. against You're the law. You're a baby. To you handled it perfectly. Karen in the elevator with the husky was asking for trouble, but you kept your cool. Let her face the consequences while you move on, knowing you did the right thing. Okay, but I'm, I'm trying, trying to be a. Get the it's, yeah, I'm gonna record you because this is ridiculous. I have a job and I'm trying to take my trash out. Okay, and you can do that. I'm trying to go home. I just did work. Like, you don't need to swear at me because your dog, talk to your dog. As a neighbor, you need to walk away. As a neighbor? No, I don't. You should be able I to control your dog. Door. And you I'm literally home. right here. You're being weird. You need to exit the door. You can go now. I mean... I have a lot going on here. You, oh. need, you need to be normal. You need to be normal. You literally just told me to back the up. I'm going to my yeah, home. Okay, and that's not how you speak to people. You could literally Stop have said. Me. No. I I'm going to send this to the office because this is ridiculous. I live here. I am literally trying to. Yeah, that's I'm going works. to call the police. You need to go. Can somebody stand you here with me, go. please? This girl's what? like a rate. Like, she's. I'm. She's making me nervous. She's lunging at me with her dog. Please stop. What is Please stop. I'm trying to go home. I'm lunging at you with your dog. Did she not? Did you? Am I, am I bugging? Like, um, I have the whole video. You've been, I've been just trying to go home. Do you want to go walk? All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm calling the police now. Okay. I'm, I'm going to call the police now. In a shocking display of prejudice, this Karen crossed the line by hurling a racial slur at a man. Her hateful words reveal the ugly sign of entitlement, turning an ordinary interaction into a moment of deep offense and outrage. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm going to film her because obviously she just called me a chink, right? I heard that. Yeah, she just called me a chink. Anyway, no. What are you doing? Eric, what are you like looking for problems? <laughs> I wasn't Robin. looking for problems. Yeah, what are you doing? Robin. I'm playing with a dog and a six-year-old. What are you doing with your phone? Mm. Answer that question. Robin. I'm recording. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm recording record an intoxicated record woman. Robin. So I was that playing. Assaulted me. No, record And me. now it's calling me I a chink. I was chink. playing with a six-year-old and my dog, and Wait. you, in the midst of having a snowball fight. Taylor. Got in the mix of it. Oh, did it hurt you? Trailer. Did it hurt you? Um, yeah, I actually, don't think it you hurt did you. injure me when you hit me in the face. I'm gonna stay I'm right here with you because I'm not afraid. I I'll, I'll, I'll say I was just playing with my lab retriever over there. All right, honey, come on. You no. know what? No, we're gonna sit. No, we're not. We're no. not in front of We're gonna wait. Okay. okay, so turn your car or okay, turn, well, your, turn, your you, camera, turn your turn your camera. Turn your camera around to the, the stop sign and then see where you okay. were. Um, you were can you playing. Please step away from me? No. Why please are you step away? Step away from me. Oh, ba 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 Oh, it's the it's the worst it's the worst thing in the world to get hit with a snowball. No, is it not. is it the worst thing in the world to get hit with a snowball? No it's not. Okay, so but, why are you filming? But why would you do that though? Hit you with a snowball? Yeah why? I wasn't hitting you. I was playing with my dog and a six-year-old. No, you clearly hit me in my car. Hmm. Why will I always be wrong? I'll always be. I'll sit here with you. Why will I always be wrong? Why what do you? Do you what, what are you so upset about? Why? Why, why do you have wrong? to? Why do you have to shoot me? Why don't you look at your face? 
A millionaire, Karen, thought her wealth could outrun the law, but karma caught up with her fast after she tried fleeing from the police. Her money couldn't save her from the consequences, proving that no one's above justice, no matter how rich they are. It's freaking Thanksgiving. I just got a divorce. My Stop fucking car, daughter's please. not with me. Can you step out the car, please? What in the is this? I'm trying to get a home. Step out the car, please, man. No. They, no. What are you doing? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Can somebody come to your car, please? No, I don't have anybody. How come she's allowed out? Ah! Like, why are you letting her through and I can't get through? Do you realize what you did, though? I really, I'm sorry. You I just killed one of these people running. You know that? No, I did not. You could have killed. One I of didn't. People wasn't running. anywhere near them. They told me to beat the people over here. Please let me out. I live in a three million dollar house right down the street. If you do that, ah! I'm gonna pepper spray you. You got I me? I mean, I get turned. I'm going to pepper spray you. If Dude, you... I live in a three million dollar house okay. down the street. Just hear Can me you up. write me up? Hear me this. Hear, my hear, daughter, I'm gonna lose me. my daughter today. Listen to me carefully. Look at this. If you kick the window, that's I'm my going head. To I didn't kick you. the window. Whatever you do, you bang your head in the window. Whatever. If you don't sit here properly, I'm going to. How long are we you. doing this for? You've been born. Hear me up. All right. Right now, you're at level 10. I need you to bring it down to a 2. Here's a level 2. Ready? I was trying to go to the gas station this morning, and I can't get off my neighborhood. I promise you I'll come talk to you, all right? But what I need you to do is don't bang your head in the window. Don't kick anything. I need you to sit here. You're in handcuffs. You're arrested, all right? I can't change that. My life! So you're gonna ah! Ah! You don't get what I just went through. I mean, I do not deserve this. Listen, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. No, it's like I'm going to lose my daughter today, too. All right. Ah! In a surprising twist, she got arrested, but the cop ended up in hot water, leading to a payout in her favor. It's a baffling outcome where the one in cuffs somehow walked away with cash, leaving everyone wondering what really went down. Man, what's going on? Nothing. I missed my bus. Okay. So why are we out here? Why? Because I missed my bus. Here's the long and short of it, okay? Lose the attitude with me. I didn't cause any problems. Am I under arrest? No, I'm asking. Am I under arrest I right now? I can make that decision right now. Do you want to go to jail? Am I currently under arrest? You're being trespassed at the very least. I'll call my attorney on that one, too. You can't excuse you. Ma'am! Yes. Give me your ID right now. I'm not playing this game ID. with you. Then give me something with your name on it and give me your Let information. Let go of my arm. Stop Let trying to pull away from me. Get okay? the f*** away from me! You're going to jail and your child's going to... Stop! Gonna... Stop. Stop. I have put my hands on her until she swung back at me because I went to snatch the phone out of her hand. All right, Ms. Rose, do you want to answer any questions to talk to me about what happened today or no? I mean, am I being placed under arrest? Yeah, I'm going to read you your rights before I talk to you. Do you want to talk to me or am I going to waste my time reading your rights? Yeah, I'm being placed under arrest. I said you're going to read your rights. Am I being placed under arrest? Do you want to talk to your Nazi? I'm place? asking a question so I can make arrangements. Am I being placed under arrest? Would you like me to go to jail? Okay. Do you want to answer any questions about what happened? Um. Or call to tell you like side of the story? Destiny continues ignoring the officer, calling a family member to come pick up her child, whose safety she's suddenly very concerned with. So if you're willing to answer questions and, and tell your side of the story, he's going to read it to you and then ask questions. But if you don't want to talk, he's not going to take the time and read it to you. Okay. That's what his question is. No, not talking. After a 30-minute wait, the child's Aunt Leah arrives to pick him up. We'll let him, he'll, he'll let him know. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Can I tell you something real quick? I'm going to be Just, easy. Okay. Yeah. That, 